so cool with the fog that's forming over the lake, even though it's frozen. Oh yes, but it can be a little hard to get out on the ice proper because the um, there's tides here, water level going up and down, and that means that there's open water along the along the beach. This snow is delicious. What are you doing? I'm breaking off the bad edge of the ice here so I can get more of an impression of how thick it is. Yeah, that's good. Seven, eight centimeters. And you say that five is safe? Yeah, you'll, you'll You'll be okay on four too, but I said four, the, the chance of falling through is maybe 10%. And you don't want that. No. So, if they'll turn to a certain death, I'd try to walk on three too. Why this is a short step over to the ground. Um, you want to try? Is it? It may be wet. We may get wet getting ashore on the other side. Well, if it's too bad, we could always double back. Yeah. Made it. Okay. So now we're standing on the lake. Yes. Cool. This is called walking on water. <laughs> and. Uh, the Lake of Kinneret uh, in Israel. Yeah. Has seen examples of that before. Maybe. Well, maybe. <laughs> it's rumored, but now we have proved that it's okay. That's frozen. Yeah. And so <laughs> This is so cool. Let's stay together. Okay. Uh, the, you can see the shadow is, is caused by water in the snow. It makes it heavy, so it sinks. Hold <laughs> in the ice over there, so water is starting to come up. It could have been for some ice fishermen. This is like a wick. It starts to suck water up. Then it becomes heavier and pushes the ice down. And that gets more water up, and it's self-reinforcing. We call it overwand, over water. Water on top of the ice. And now it won't uh, freeze because it's inside the snow. Oh. The snow is an insulator. There's another thing you need to be careful about here. There's a tiny stream coming in, and the stream will bring slightly warm, warmer water and set up a current, and that will keep the water from freezing. So the ice can be quite thin, just where the water runs in or out of a lake. We have a word for such a place, it's called Oos. That's it, Elve, Oos, Becke, Oos. And in the old laws, if you had borrowed somebody else's slave and put into work on thin ice slave? in Ilve Us, yeah. uh, you were liable for the damage. To now, the slave? Yes, if that was not considered normal wear and tear on the slave, who fell through the ice and was disappeared. Very sensible. Yes. Um, I can't feel my toes. Oops. Or my right hand. <laughs> Fingers. Hey, who, who walked here? It's a very straight line. 
My guess is roe deer. My guess is fox actually. Fox. Yeah. Ominous. Try to get on that shore and back. I really don't want to double back. My feet are frozen. It's very shallow, and normally the beach is quite far off. This is the point where human tracks meet. And we need to get to that dock? Yeah, that's where, that's where it's at. Oh, you can see how the uh, the fog is really struggling things up. Yeah. Should we make a try? I mean, we won't freeze. We, we, the worst case will Frostbite. Get wet up to here. Uh, that's about as de how deep it is. Um, do you hear all that? Thin layer of ice. This is not normal wear and tear. Huh? Oh no! I got pretty wet. Yes. So what are you going to do now? I, I don't know, I guess I'll come. Oh! Yeah. It's making scary noises. Yes, um... Shuffle across. Okay. Go ahead, go to your stance. Give him a call. I, I, I'm waiting for you. No, no. So this is an adventure. Top of the lake. It's getting dark. That's the bay I never made it to. And my trusted staff. You're gonna have to go alone because he's soaking and we don't want him to get frostbite. And I hope to find my way back to the bay. I made it across the abyss. Now home. Toes are freezing. Pretty dark. And all this to end up run over by a giant tractor. <laughs> 